Welcome to the Big Files Live. Hope everybody's doing okay tonight. We are uh, starting a new show this evening, and I hope everyone is ready for some change. We're going to shake it up a little bit and um, see where we can take this new thing. Roscoe is deciding to attack something at the moment. Excuse him. Anyways, um, I hope everybody is doing okay tonight. I saw Hippie Shake is taking the night off, and she's well-deserved there. And um, I see GT1982 Mustang is in the house. How you doing? That's all I can see right now. And I'm waiting on my thing here to get going. My screen is slow on my other computer anyways let's see talk about the show um what we got is a new show um change is a good thing um we've been doing the mudden show we did 47 shows of mudden and uh 47 shows of mudding live so that's a lot of shows um and uh hey cross hatch how you doing? And uh, hello, Andrea D. Um, and um, I'm just, my laptop is, my second laptop is acting weird. I don't know, it's slow or something. Anyways, um, so I did a lot of episodes of doing the Mudden. And the idea originally behind the Mudden show was to show you guys um with high resolution uh, what the old world looked like right after um, this event that we that we study. And so um, we did that a lot and I, you know, we really enjoy, I really enjoyed doing it and I know a lot of you enjoyed watching and um, but at some point we need to move forward. Um, we, we can't stagnate. Um, stagnation is uh, not a good thing. It doesn't develop um, your mind. It, it, it needs to, you need to advance in order to um, go further. I'm just having trouble with my laptop here. It has just gone wacky. I don't know. Um, so I can't see the chat. So just so you guys know. Um, so well, now it's come back. This thing's doing. Sorry, folks. Technological difficulties. So anyways, um, the um, high secret look, reluctant Jesus. How you doing? What's going on? Okay. So the deal is that um, a lot of you've been wondering what are the Beagle files. And I'm going to tell you what are in the Beagle Files. Um, and the answer is nothing. <laughs> There's nothing in the Beagle Files yet. What we're going to do on this show is instead of looking at a picture and going, ooh, ah, mud flood winder, mud flood, you know, you know, uh, stairs going down. Ooh, look at the Antiquitech. Ooh, look at the antenna. Ooh, look, there's Fred. Look, you know, look at this, look at that. Okay. Well, we're looking at one building. What I want to do is, and then we will go to another building and it was building after building after building after building. And I do as many buildings in a show as possible. So what we're going to do with this show is, is going to be very, very different yet the same. Um, a lot of people have asked, will Fred still be part of the show? Well, Fred's the horse that built America, so I don't see why Fred won't be a part of the show. So when we find Fred, Fred will be there. Um, so yes, the answer is yes. People have asked, are we going to be Google dropping? The answer is yes. Are we going to be looking in digital archives? Yes. Are we going to be um, looking at old world uh, glass plate negatives? Yes. All of the above. We're going to do everything we did before, but we're going to go deeper into each 
structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use leads, ideas, um, my own ideas, my own leads, your leads, my leads, everybody's leads. And we're going to just um, follow the rabbit hole for particular structures or ideas. A lot of people have requested uh, subways to be looked into. Um, there's all kinds of different avenues. Now, I want to look at all these things, okay? Um, and then, when as we look at these things, as we find a picture, I'm going to save it into a file for that structure or that uh, field of research. Let's say subways. We'd have a folder for subways or a particular subway would be more a better way to save it. We're going to create a file for each structure. When we find a picture that's worth saving, we're going to save it. When we find a video worth saving, we're going to save it. When we find a uh, images from Google, we're going to save it. When we find data, we're going to save it. Anything we find that's worth saving to put in the folder, in the file, we're going to save. And then I'm going to, at the as, as I can, I'm going to upload them. And the, the link will be in the show description. And the file will be there for you to go and do your own research or use in your own research. So the point to this is that there's nothing in the Beagle files right now. But we're going to start filling the Beagle files with the files, with the data, with the research that we find on this show. So it's not just going to be my research. It's going to be your research. We're all going to have a part in it. So this is going to be very new. And it'll probably be a train wreck disaster to begin with. And that's okay. So was the Mudden Show. I've, you know, I made a lot of mistakes as I, as I went learning. And that's okay. So um, I don't know if uh, you guys already have a way of doing this, but if you see, let's give me an example. If, if, if I'm saying I'm looking at uh, this image and I haven't um, shared that image on the screen, um, let's come up with a way, hi, three fingers, Let's come up with a way for you guys to get my attention in the chat, like some symbol, not a, not the beagle head, some symbol that you could put in a bunch of those symbols um, at one time, and then it'll trigger me to go, okay, something's not kosher. I need to fix something, and that'll help me um, to know when something isn't being displayed or something like that. So if you guys can come up with a way of doing that, um, you guys are intelligent people and I'm sure you can figure that out. Um, if you have a question, um, we've done this in the past and it's worked well, put a beagle icon um, in the uh, description and um, that will uh, allow me to see that it's a question um, for me. Um, and uh, we will do it that way. I'm trying to find the beagle icon with one hand and run my gums with another. So anyways, I hope that makes um, sense to everyone. Uh, I'm still trying to get the icon going here. So I got my coffee going, and so um, I'm going to be ready to go in here in a minute. And uh, there we go. This old, I, you know, I used this laptop for a couple years when I first started uh, YouTube, and I to this day don't know understand how in the hell I got as far as I did with this laptop because it is under the piece of shit category. So. I mean, I went from driving a, a Pinto to driving a Lamborghini. And um, so 
my, my the show's run on a Lamborghini and the the, the chat I'm watching on a, a Pinto. Whew, okay, so let me uh let me get my little my little moon thingy here up in the up in the air so I, it has a little ambiance to my peripheral vision, which I like. Okay. Um, I think I am ready to go. All right. I hope you guys are ready. Um, we're going to start this off. Uh, just some things that I threw in and then we'll see where we go from there. So Myrtle beach. There you go. I was born in Myrtle beach. Um, South Myrtle, not North Myrtle. Okay, so let me see. Um, tell you what, uh, I've got this place um, that I'll show. Share screen. Okie dokie. So here we go. Um, this is a file I've already started. Um, working on a, a a house a mansion that um is in North Carolina and I just thought it would be a, a good place to start because it's something that's interesting to me um, I do have a few files already set up for this but we'll see what else we can find we gotta you know put our toe in the water somewhere so I guess we'll dip here this is called the Chiquita pin plantation and uh, it is an English manor home in Reedsville, North Carolina, in Rockingham County, North Carolina, uh, about 25 miles north of Greensboro. It is a private rev residence and was closed to the public in 2012. The home was built by Thomas Jefferson Penn, Jeff, 1875 to 1946, and Margaret Beatrice Shukoff. I'm not going to say that right. Sholkoff, not going to say that right at all, Penn, Betsy, 1881 to 1965, in the 1920s. So it was built in the 1920s. The name uh, Jaquinta Penn uh, was derived from Chinaquin Penn, a species of animal uh, American chestnut that was once plentiful in the area. Chiquita Pen Plantation ranks high among North Carolina's finest, well-preserved 1920th century, uh, early 20th century homes, including uh, the Rionda House and Duke Mansion. I wonder what that is. I need to look into that. I'll tell you what. We'll we'll, we'll check on that here in a second. Um, let's see. Uh. Let me go, before we look at that anymore, let's go back here. Okay, this is the house here. Um, it has a fountain out front. Beautiful stonework. Love how they did this right here. Um, and I actually got to tour this house when I was a little boy. Um the best I can recall is that um, I went to a 4-H camp one time and they had a tour connected to this house. Like they let us go on a tour of the house. and But I think there was a connection with the family to the 4-H camp. I'm not sure about that, but I think there was. But anyways, we got to go on a tour of the house. And um, it was just, it, as a child, it was just really beautiful. And I remember there being these uh, crystal doorknobs. I remember that stood out to me. Um, let me make sure we're, let's go full screen. That way you guys can see better. Okay, there you go. Uh, look at this uh, ceiling up here with the Vesca Pisces. I know these images aren't real good. Um. I have a video of this. Now, videos um, will have to come back to. Um, they have to be 
I have to check check those out. But if we find something, we'll save it or the link to it or something like that. We'll 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 take it as it comes. I know I've got some better stuff. It's just like a Christmas shot. But it's a very beautiful mansion inside. It doesn't look like a lot from outside. Built in 1925. Now, one thing I did learn is that North Carolina State University um, inherited this um, house. I don't know if it says it on here or not. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how I how I know that, but I know that they they own it now. This is really interesting. Um, some kind of uh, like um, uh, I don't know what this. Is. I don't know what to call this. But these are grinding wheels. These are outside the house, obviously. But these are grinding wheels. These things are really cool. Built right into the wall. I just thought that was really neat. And this is a, a weird part. I, I don't really understand why this is there at all. I, I really have no idea. That looks techy up there. But I really don't know why that's there. It's very strange. Oh, this is this was in the fountain. Um, when we that picture we we're looking at before, it was the little cherub was gone. This door is interesting. I love this little window here. I love the stonework. Oh, look, it's got a J and a B right there. I mean, it's pretty simple outside. Um, it's really inside. It, it, it has a lot of character, but it, it's it's more inside that is, you know, got the character that's really interesting. Little flat earth asterisks. Got a clock with uh, four ones. So there's your Mandela effect. Arched areas here. I wonder if this is a wind catcher for the house. There's another outside shot. Hey, London McLovin, how you doing? And Dr. Detroit, Oregon, how's it going? All right. And, oh, this is this is a neat uh, ship. It's like a model ship that's in there. I love this roof inside here. That's another thing I want to, to do on the show is I want to look a lot inside the buildings as much as possible, too. Um. That's something that we couldn't do in the other show because it was, you know, one picture here, one picture there. So, um, we'll be able to do that. These are pictures that I found. Um, there's not a, a ton of, of good imagery of the house. Um, I found pretty good video. I mean, this is inside the house. I mean, it's just so much different inside than out. A lot of character. Do, 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 do. I don't know what that is. That's kind of weird looking. All right, so let's go back and let's see. Let's read a little bit more. After inheriting a portion of the Penn family tobacco interest, they relocated from Penn's store, Patrick County, Virginia, to North Carolina. Jeff Penn the augmented his fortune in stocks and bonds during the Depression. He also operated a dairy husband, husbandry and raised Holston cattle. In later years, he uh, raised Black Angus. The Penn Tobacco Company is later purchased in 1911 by American Tobacco Company. The Duke family 
a behemoth that made Lucky Strike cigarettes um, and pretty much built Durham, North Carolina. Uh, the coat of arms above the picture window showed the Penn family crest as well as that of the Spencer family of Spencer, Virginia, to whom the Pens were related. Betsy's father, author Scove, I'm not pronouncing that right, chairman of the board of directors of Niagara Falls Power Company and mayor of Niagara Falls, New York, Betsy Penn survived just by nearly 20 years, during which time she became increasingly involved in Philip, 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 I hate that word, philanthropic, I hate that word, it's a stupid fucking word, uh, the community activities, my brain, I'm a speed reader, my brain does not read aloud, <laughs> she created the Betsy Jeff Penn 4-H Educa oh, okay. All right. So there is a connection to the 4-H Education Center on part of the estate. Ah, I was right. Remembering that right. How about that? That's cool. Most of the furnishings in the art showcase in 30 countries were placed by the pins, the house and related buildings, and ultimately the internal furnishings were given into the trusteeship of the University of North Carolina system in 1965. Because of high cost, NC State University closed the site to tours. Huh. Three years later, Calvin Phelps, the founder of Renegade Tobacco Company in August 2006, acquired the estate, claiming he intended to build a replica in Davie County. What? That don't even make sense. He decided to have a second home nearby and operate the site as a tourist attraction. But Phelps used the funds from his tobacco company, which was successful for a while due to being exempt from the Tobacco Master Settlement Agreement, which required a $5 per carton surcharge on cigarettes. Damn. He could sell his cigarettes more cheaply until the government began requiring exempt tobacco companies to pay escrow fees. Damn. <laughs> Later needed to finance his debt, Phelps obtained a mortgage backed by his company's bank of granite, which had lent him money. Okay. Lent him money, cut him off. Federal agents seized the property and assets in 2010 as part of the ongoing bankruptcy proceeding. In September 2011, a bankruptcy trustee took over and an order filed December 12th said bankruptcy judge would require that all items in the house be sold to, at auction. Damn, in August, April 2012, the two-day auction took place at the Greensboro Coliseum Complex in Greensboro, North Carolina in 2012. was conducted by Leyland Auction, blah, blah, blah. Iron House raised approximately $3.4 million. Damn, that sucks. In, in 2012, the Museum and Archives of Rockingham County was expected to open and certain items acquired at the auction were expected to be displayed. 2013, Chiquita Penn went into foreclosure. Sunbank bought the property from Phelps for $1.4 million. Though SunTrust wanted $1.9, the property sold for considerably less to a private buyer. The house and gardens were once opened for tours, and the plantation offered tours through March 2012. Formerly in adjoining, the property is still operated as experimental agricultural station by North Carolina State University. It's on the National Register of Historic Places. Okay. And that's the, the dude that they say built it. Okay. So that being that, let's see if we can. Um, I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to switch over to another screen and let's just see what happens if it follows me. I don't think it does. Let's see. Let me make sure we're... Let's see. Are we up to date? Oh, there we go. Hold on, my screen is behind. Okay. Sorry, bear with me. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do this, y'all. Like I said, train wreck. Toot, toot. 
Just hold tight. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm trying to figure out if it's... It has not switched screens, I don't believe. I don't think it switches screens on its own. Okay. All right, I have no idea where we are. Hold on. I got to know what, what this thing's doing. Okay, I thought it's, it's not switching. Okay. Stop screen share and... We'll present a different screen. No. Window. Nope. Okay, here we go. I got my tail out of my butt now. Okay. Sorry. Like I said, train wreck. Hey, Ann, how you doing? Let's see. Okay. So we're going to uh, go to Google and we're going to search this. That should update for you guys. Let me just double check you guys. Yeah. Okay. You're good. Okay. So uh, let's just see if there's anything we can see from here. I don't remember seeing that picture or that picture oh is that a pdf no look at that tapestry jeez okay let's save it we'll go ahead and save it into chiquita pin and there we go okay and we got some kind of um Oh, it's because it's a different image. Okay. Let's see what this is. Permanent practical house. 20s mansion. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we've got some different pictures here. All righty. Can I go to the next one? No. Okay, so so this is the layout of the property, I guess. Yeah, we'll save it. Why not? We got that better to do. This is an old picture. All right, save that one. Look at those windows there. Those are, look pretty cool awnings. It's got a uh, like an old world look to it. Okie dokie. Is that all? View all twenty one. Figure, oh, there's more. Okay. Look at those uh, chimneys there. Very, uh, I've seen all those chimneys in England. Oh, that didn't work. Don't do that. What is that? Oh, oh, that's that that other house they were talking about. Huh. We'll have to check on that. That's the Biltmore house. Let's see. We got floor plans. Sitting room, master bedroom. Mud room. That one always always kills me. Mud room. Mud room. Of course, the mud room is for 
the mud boots because you know when you come in from riding but uh it's still funny to me and we've got layout plans oh i didn't go to that one okay oh that's the second floor plans get out of there whatever that is i think we got that picture oh no i don't know if we got that picture or not that ceiling is just wild. This was a really cool place to go when I was little. It, it was not something I had never seen anything like this. It's not the fanciest in the world, but but it was when I saw it when it was little. It was. It really was, you know, next level kind of like it was just very, very cool. Look at those weird little beds. Okay, what else we got? And like I said, you know, we're, we're, we're not in any hurry here, y'all. So, you know, this is going to be just... Basically, we're going to research live. So, let's see if we got anything. Okay, now what else we got? Uh, no, we don't want that. Okay. I think we got that one, that one. That is, okay. Uh, I think we got that one, that one. It's okay, okay. There's that pagoda. That's weird. They got a um a cover over it now. Well, that's so weird. What what a weird thing to have. That's weird. Graves. Let's see if we can find any other. I remember seeing this one. Uh, we're also looking, you know, if we can find any kind of, you know, mud flood evidence also. You know, you just never know what you're going to. The idea is to see if we can get closer to these things. Um, sometimes you'll be able to, sometimes you won't. That looks like a front gate shot. This is just, you know, oh, that's an interesting gate shot. Let's look at that gate. That's very cool to me. I, I mean, it's so. Um, ooh, let's get back to that a second. It's so. Um, I thought maybe I saw something right there, but I don't think so. Let me uh, think. Try that one. Old hitching post with a maybe a grinding stone. Is that that weird wall? No, that's not the one. I'm getting about tapped out i think when you start seeing the same images over and over again that's weird that's a cool picture of it okay I think that's about the dealio there, but I do want to go back and look at 
Where was it? This one. I want to see. Uh, wait, we got to get this. Okay. What does that say? First floor. Second floor. Huh. I was just seeing if it had a um a basement. Let's see. Now let's switch to um all and see we got of course, your wiki page. I wanted to, did want to look at one thing on there. Where was it? Where was that other house? There was a link. This one. Okay. Displays premier collection of American art ranging built in 1917. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and um we'll see if that turns up anything another time. Um, now, I want to go back and see if there's any kind of uh, trip advisors, any kind of special websites. Okay, we got some kind of web page here. Okay, I'm going to just take a screenshot of that. There's some, uh, okay. Now I want to go to about just quit pin and then we'll go to, um, Library of Congress and just see if they have anything, um, by chance oh they do what do they got so they have a um let's see jpeg largest is that one will download that oh wow oh beautiful well, that's the best shot we found. Now, one reason I want to do this show is because so many of these buildings are being demolished. They're not there anymore. And just looking around, you're not going to find it. Um, there, So we, we want to find even the ones that aren't there anymore and look at those. Look at that. That chair that is really cool. It's it's very classy. It's not super overdone. Check out that chimney. Very cool. Okay, so we got that, and um, I think that's gonna probably tap that file out for now. Okay. Yep, I was born in Myrtle Beach. Um, the uh, when I was born, the uh, um, my parents were uh, living in a uh, tiny, tiny trailer on Myrtle Beach, and my daddy was a he ran a putt putt golf place in Myrtle Beach, and um. We didn't we didn't live there very long. It, it was only when I was born. So I have very, very little connection to Myrtle Beach. 
that hope that answers the question because that's about it. That's about the story right there. There wasn't much story, <laughs> but I mean, I did go. I've been to Myrtle Beach many times uh, because it was, um, you know, growing up, it was my favorite beach to go to because um, it was it was fun for kids. South Myrtle, oh, good times. I could tell some stories there. Not on this channel, though. We won't go there. Okay, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, let's see. Um, where's that one? Um, this was interesting. Okay. Let me find the post. Okay, dokey. Let's get into something else. Hey, Masonic Q, what's going on? Okay, so I'm going to present the screen, and we're going to go. This came up on my uh, Instagram feed this week, and um, it it just got my attention. Um, not it. It's a cool looking building. Uh, this was posted by Splendid Art architecture i'm not exact i think it's splendid architecture anyways splendid art chick texture i don't know why they're spelling it that way anyways it's this uh instagram user i i believe they might be on youtube too but i i can't remember but anyways um what was interesting uh to me is that uh it said right here all I'm getting for this building on King Street, Manchester, is Ship Canal House, Manchester, yet my photos aren't matching the ones online. So that struck me as interesting. Um, number one, that it was called the Ship Canal House. Number two, it was called Fight Club was the business that was in it. Um, and it had the old world look to it. So... Um, what I did, uh, let me, let, let's, oh, tell you what, let's, no, we don't need that no more. Okay, so he had these other pictures with it as all, with it as well, um, just so you can see the rest of the building. Of course, you got some mud flood winders down here. That's pretty how that's done on that arch. And I think that's about the dealio, but so what I did was, um, let me, uh, recreate said such, I gotta, I gotta stop and start every time. Let's see. I need this one. And then. We're going to go to Google and we're going to go to search and we're going to go to Beagle Files and we're going to go to, I think it was, I think it was this one. Try that one. And I reversed image searched. And uh, okay, so right here it comes up. Um, and uh, then we'll also hit find image source and see what comes up. And I'm not digging on that search too much. Let's go to wiki, see what wiki comes up with. Uh, Cunleaf Brooks and Company was a bank founded in Blackburn, Lancaster, England in 1792. The bank founded by cotton entrepreneur William Brooks, uh, 1762 to 1846, and Roger Cunleaf in 1819. Samuel Brooks, son of one of the founders, opened a branch of the bank in Manchester. In the 1820s, a second generation Cunleaf opened a a London house at 29 Lombard Street. In 1844, the Manchester Bank was listed 
in an act of parliament as one of 10 provincial banks working under the arrangement of the Bank of England. The London house merged with Alexander's a discount house in 1864, but a new London house, Brooks and Company, was opened at 81 Lombard Street by the sole partner of the Blackburn Bank. A new bank building in Manchester was opened in 1868 at numbers 46 and 48 Brown Street. The architect was George Tulip, Truffitt, Truffitt, okay, at the corner where Brown Street meets Chancery Lane is a three-story oil with crisp carved or ornament on the top an iron crown in 1900 the bank merged with lloyd's bank okay and then we've got uh this picture oh no that's not gonna do it yeah there we go that's the stuff so we can get a real good detail of that my flood winter's going down there There's those kind of uh, chimneys I was talking about earlier. Check out this techie business on top. It's an interesting symbol there. Okay, so let's save that as uh, the ship canal house. Save that bad boy. Okay. Now we'll go back. Is there no, no more? Okay. And we'll um, take a screenshot of that. And then what I want to do. Is, oh. Okay. Hold on. We want to do this. Uh. Brown Street. Where is it? Okay, number 46 and 48 Brown Street. And then that is in Blackburn. Okay, so let's go to Google Images and uh, Blackburn. And then try maps. See if we get the. That's not getting it. Okay. Uh, let's go to Fight Club. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Uh. All right, hold on. I'm trying to figure out how. So I, I started to look at this one. Um, hold on a second. I got to figure out how I found it before. Chancery Lane. Didn't I see that on here? Thought I did. Oh, he did, he did, he did. That's saying Brown Street. I don't know. Brown Street. Well, there's Brown Street. What's this street? Anyways, this is it. It's a fight club, obviously. 1868 on the the numbers there. It is amazing what you can see on Google. Um, I have to I have to say their technology has has gotten better over over the years. Kind of reminiscent of a Florida Lee. I don't think it technically qualifies, but you know, no tourist fields up there. Let's go down here. Let's see if anything. A little mud flood winders over here. I'm gonna check them out real quick. 
Let's take a little tour around here for a second while we ain't doing nothing. Let's go look that way. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Oh, wait, what was that? That was weird. Oh, my. Look here. Massy chambers. There's that three, the one big arch and two little arches in a circle in the middle. Check out those heads. Very Phoenician looking. Very cool. Let's see what we got on this one. Got you a lion. It's <laughs> blurred out that face. So stupid. Google. It looks very Phoenician to me. Wow, that's a cool building. Okay, so. Got mud flood windows here. Look at all those cover ups right there. So let's get back up the street here where we were. Okay, so we've I've got that log. Now there's a um let's see, fight club. Let's try if we can. Let's see, Manchester. Uh, it's not going to be Manchester. Okay, now let me kill this one. What does this bring up? That brings up the building. Let me search the ship canal house. See what that brings up. Here we go. This this is this is what I think was happening to the guy is that when he was searching, I don't know how he got the ship. I don't know how he got the picture with the name Ship Canal House together. Anyways, this is what came up. I'm trying to reverse engineer what I did. Um, this one. Uh, Okay, this is the Ship Canal House. Um, is a building Manchester, England. It was built in 1927 for the Manchester Ship Canal Company. The building is located on King Street, historically the center of Manchester banking industry. So we'll just take a screenshot of that. We can add it to our file. Why the hell not? We ain't got nothing better to do. And that's not a very good picture but we'll save it anyways let's save it to the canal house and then let's see there's another let's see if we can find what is that that's the top so that's the top of the house it's got a ship so kind of Phoenician looking there let's see uh, da, 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 da. That's a weird picture. Huh. Well, that's kind of weird. All right. Now, I don't think there's anything there. Okay. I want to go to maps. And this is gonna. This is this is the, the actual building here. 
and you see it's also a, fi a fight club. Um, so that's where I think the confusion was. Oh, this is the same one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not the right one. Hold on. Hold on. King, uh, King Street Fight Club. In the same damn town, I think, isn't it? That's the same one. Where is this other one? Damn. Hold on. Oh, that's the one on King Street. What the hell is going on here? 98 King Street. That don't even make sense. I don't know why it's coming up that same building. Well, now it's coming up different. Okay, here it is. So this is this is the other one. Oh, that was so weird. Got an eagle. There's that strange cartouche. And it's unscrubbed. This one's got a looks like a ship on it. Oh, can't say if I'm hot or cold. There's that dude hanging out on the ceiling. So this is this is what was confusing. Um, you got these uh, mud flood winters down here. Look at that door. Is that a door? Well, is that a door? Oh, it kind of looks like a door. All righty. Let's see what else is in the neighborhood. I'll check that one out. My God, the neighbors next door are deciding to, they scrap metal and they, they're out there cutting metal at 10 o'clock at night. Fucking imbeciles. Uh, so if you hear a weird noise, that's what it is. Florida Lee. Okie dokie. That's just really amazing that architecture is still left. The circle punk. Okay, so I wonder if we can let's go back to that location and then come out where is it I lost it there it is okay okay so if I go and I click on this sucker on the top okay I'm gonna copy that bad boy I'm gonna go over here to Google's and I'm gonna get rid of Why does they have two addresses? <sighs> uh, I see what they've done. It's the same damn. It's. Oh, uh, uh, I see what it is now. Look, this is one side of the building. That's what was so damn confusing about this thing. And that's the other side of the building. It's two different buildings. 
Okay. So let's see. Let's research the 46, 48. Let's get rid of that. I don't know what all that shit is right there. Okay. Let's see what comes up. Okay. Built in 1868. Okay, now let's go to Google again. Let's get rid of all that. Let's see when that bad boy was built. Are you going to give us a date? I don't know. Okay, so they're not. Let's see if we can build. What is this? No longer available. Let's see. These real estate records can be very helpful. Um, sometimes they will have information that is, is very, very, very helpful. So nothing there. I think they're going to tell. I was just wondering, like, what when was one built and when was the other built, but I'm not seeing it. Huh. What's this? Avail 2020. No, don't care. Ship Canal House, one of the Manchester's best-known landmark office buildings, originally constructed in 1924. So they're saying one was constructed in 24, and the other was constructed in 1868. So I'm going to assume that um, it makes sense that the Brown Street building is definitely to me looks older um it's undergone substantial refurbishment huh let me copy take a screenshot of that whole bad boy for the record that one. What is that? Hello, little fella. We might take a little screenshot of you and look in your little tail later. Why not? When was that built? Are you going to tell me? I'm going to have to beat it out of you. 1898. Yeah, boy. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Is that a uh, young blood? <laughs> oh, look at that horrible ceiling. Good gracious. Oh, that's hideous. Oh, my. 1896. Look at that. A little little line on top. Oh, check that out. That's cool. Oh, 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 oh. Got trigger happy. Look at that. 
So there, it got a little bit of the old mixed with the little bit of the new. These are really cool pictures. Looks like some mud flood winders there. Okay, all right. Oh, 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 check that out. I wonder if that's in the basement. Okay, all right. We'll check that out another time. Okay, I think that one's about tapped out. I'm not really seeing much more there, so we'll close that one out. Um, now, let's just see. Let me, let's see. Stop screen share and let's go. How are you guys doing? Hey, Frankie New West Reset. How's it going? I want to check. Uh, let's see. Nope. I hit the right thing. Here we go. Let's just present that. Okay. I asked, uh, what structure from the old world would you like to look deeper into? Leave your leads here to be added to the Beagle Files for further investigations. And that's what we intend to do. So let's see what we got. Hippie Shake. First on deck. Let's see. Uh, the Cathedral of Santa Maria La Menor in the colonial city of San Santo Domingo, dedicated to the Saint Mary of Incarnation, is the first and oldest cathedral in the Americas, begun in 1504, was completed in 1550. This looks very interesting as it is the oldest cathedral in the Americas. Would be interesting to know what type of brick was used and did it have access to water? Well, let's see. We'll copy all that. Why not? And we will see what happens. Okay. And let's go to see if we can. I want to know where I'm at. I like to have my bearings kind of. Okie dokie. Alrighty. It's a weird place to build. The, what did she say? Oldest cathedral in the Americas. Okay. Well, that is just a random ass place to put the oldest cathedral in Americas. But we will go with it. And we do not have three so what else we got okay so we can walk around it okay let's tell you what let's uh, start a file okay I got a I got a, a beagle file started for the church oh I gotta be on the right screen okay here we go Got little eagles on eagle and a, a lion. Is that a is that a bull? Hey, that's weird. Gosh, is that um God, what is that? Something's coming to mind there. I can't think of what that is. Uh oh shoot. I can't I can't think of it. So, what was she asking? What kind of block? What kind of type of brick was used? I wonder why she's asking that. She's talking about the stone, or is she talking about, the, is it brick underneath the stone? I 
guess we'll have to see what we can find out. And there's Fred. Oh, 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 wait, wait for it. Wait a minute. Hold on. I know I've seen him. There he is. And Fred is the horse that built America and is still building America today. There you go. Told you Fred would be part of the show. I don't know what that thing is. That is really weird looking. Another one. Those are odd. Oh, okay. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Let's go. Let me get back out and see if we can get on this side. A little pyramid symbology. Oh, the double headed phoenix. Pyramid symbology. Well, they got glass doors on it. That's strange. Let's see if we can uh, change the date. Nope. can't see in okay okay how about go to all okay we'll take a screenshot of that dedicated to saint mary incarnation the oldest okay so she copied this All right, title of primate. Rank it, what? Rank it, the title or rank bestowed on someone important or bishop in certain Christian churches. That's, that's a weird title. Okay. Of the Indies, because cathedral was the first Catholic diocese and the oldest cathedral established in the New World. Cathedral's front with a golden tinted coral limestone facade. Golden tinted coral limestone facade. Gothic. A notable example of real Gothic architecture outside of Europe. There's also a treasury, which has an excellent art collection and ancient wood carvings, furnishings, Funerary monuments, silver and jewelry, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a look at that. And we'll save it for the folder. You got your checkerboard floor. That is, that is pretty right there. Oh, we got more pictures. Save that. Oh, we need to we need to get that out. Cut. And what's it called? The Saint something. Oh, okay. what was it called? There it is. Paste that. And uh. Then we'll save this in. Oh, got to have it in the right file in that file. Okay, and then we'll. I tell you what, that that is just. I never understood why. The the church made such elaborate decorations. You know, it just didn't make sense until I. You know, woke up to mud flood. What's up, Mr. Bryce? How you doing? But it makes so much more sense that it was 
you know, some sort of technology and that this was a whole nother level of, of thinking. It just doesn't, it, it doesn't jive with, you know, Jesus is a poor carpenter, you know, myth. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. Let's see, it looks like it had wood doors there. I don't remember seeing this part. God, that's weird. Okay. Oh, okie dokie. Sometimes these wiki pictures are really good. There's some some brickwork right there. But I'm going to say that in my opinion and keep in mind, opinions are like tail holes. We all have them. In my opinion, this brickwork is a patch job. That this is the original block work. The ma th this masonry was the original. I bet that that right there is not original too. This this window. That looks original. These look added. I think that's what I think that's what maybe was confusing um, Hippie there. Maybe she was thinking it was a brick underneath. I don't think it's brick underneath. Check out this uh, brick uh, domed roof right here. I've got a really cool video of, of people doing that, and it's amazing how fast they can do that. But I'm not sure. it. There's... Looks like almost like... Almost looks like brick there. It's hard to see. I'm about to say that's a, designed like a coin, but I think this is like render over the top here like a stucco over this this tan looking stuff i think it's a stucco i think that, that to me this looks like somebody like blew it up or something and I, I, it's hard to explain how i know that but I, I i'm looking at the the size of the blocks here so you can see the size right here and here you can you know you can see how roughly how thick they are and then i'm kind of constructing in mind and then i'm looking here to see how thick the walls are and in my opinion these are the original it's made out of these what they call coral blocks where did i see that i don't know Okay, let's see if there's any more pictures. Little Vesica Pisces right there. It does look like a coral block. It's kind of like a nice coral castle. See this? where they've got this hair, herringbone roof. I think these are additions. I don't think these are original. I think those were added. That looks like it could be stucco right there over the top of that block. But I think, oh, I think this is there what would it look like more original that's a coin right there let's 
see any evidence of uh, mud flood windows, but we do have a a drain right there in there. Um, you know, doesn't mean anything, but it's kind of close to that building. Kind of makes you wonder what's going on. Oh, and see that picture. They got little pyramids all over the top. Kind of interesting. Yeah, that my I think my opinion, and like I said, it's an opinion, is that the brickwork is all addition. See, I got it up here too. It's like they came in and needed a roof, and you can build a roof out of a brick. You can dome a roof out of brick. They still do it today. Um, in uh, Mexico, they do it a lot. Um, so it's actually really cool to watch them do that. If, if you've never seen it, how they do that, it's it's pretty interesting. It the, it, it, the way it goes together, it, it goes together like you, like you know how they normally brick? Well, they, they, they just do it really fast and it's, it doesn't look like it would hold. It looks like it would just fall right out, but it doesn't. It's really cool. Check out these old bells. That, that right there, I, I, I think could be an addition this bell bell tower here to me it doesn't go anything brick is not going with the building look this one's even in a different completely different brick style oh great imagery there's that double headed phoenix how's it going ha ha and baby Mitchie. Okay. I mean, why? Why? Jeez. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, how in the world they could? You got these supposed story of you know the. The lower classes are, you know, paying their tips to the to the uh, church so they can build a greater and you know bigger and greater steeple. I mean, what what do you? It just doesn't make sense why. It, here's what I think would have happened if that actually happened. I think the people would have come with the pitchforks and stuck them through the the priest and put them on a spit. And roast them instead of building a damn big ass church because they needed food and water and clothes. They didn't. They didn't need all this shit. So I don't think. I just don't think that that they did. I don't think they built this. That's just one reason. But I just don't think that's how that went down. For some reason I'm just thinking this brickwork is 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 uh, not original. Not saying it's old. It it is old. I just don't think it's original. I mean, look at that. That doesn't. That right there doesn't go to me with the rest of it. Oh, I gotta save that one. I don't know if I saved. Did I save that last one? Did I save that one? Oh, wait a minute. I guess I did. Well, fine. I got a lot of pictures of this. this that's good. Do, do, do. Okay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Look at this papal symbol symbols here. Okay, so it does have the intricacy right here. I was wondering that. 
strange how it doesn't have anything right here. I don't know why that's standing out to me. Little Taurus feels right here. Interesting symbology in the thing. And it's also weird how most of the structure doesn't have um, really any features hardly. But then the front has this one section that is elaborate. It's like the rest of the building is just plain, Jane, boring, like there's nothing to it. That also stands out to me. I mean, maybe it's nothing. I don't know. It just seems odd. That's weird. It's like a, a ram being held up by that. That's weird. A papal hat. Oh, there's the dripping fruit. So I bet these were, these don't, these statues, these in the niches do not look old to me. They look like they were added or re replacements for something else. A double dragon. Wow. It's amazing what they can put in stone. I just... Really cool. Oh, look, you can see the stained glass a little bit. What if that's representing the monstrance? I don't know. See, there's the door. It's got a wood door now. Okie dokie. That's a weird arch right there. Is the other one? Four and two. That's an oddity. You got four and two. And usually the old world, they like to be symmetrical. So that stands out as strange these two and these two look like they're the same but then you got this makes me wonder if they knocked it off here but then I don't think so it's very strange right there that whole business there the way that's constructed that's really weird Here's those brick domed roofs. See, look right there. You've got some damage right there, and you can see underneath that it's not brick underneath. I, I don't think this structure is brick. I really don't. Hippie hip shape was asking if what kind of you know what what was the question what what type of brick was used. Um, I, I think the, um, I mean, there was brick used, but I, I, if she's talking about this, I think it's uh, that coral block work. And let's see. And that's a flat earth asterisk right there. Got an overhead shot of this piece. Really thinking that is, is a new addition. See how they bricked the roof. Now, 
you, you, you can um I, I i don't think maggot's here he's not uh i think i don't know how to say it properly but i think that you cannot build a flat brick roof i don't know if that's fully accurate but i don't think you can i think it has to have um angle to it um it has to have some sort of uh, uh pressure um dispersion you see each one of these has a, a some sort of dispersion of the pressure from the top point Now, the reason I say that is more important than is that actually correct or not to me. Um, the meltologist, I've heard them say that they would look at a, a cobblestone brick parking lot and say that they're, you know, a flat, let me be clear, a flat cobblestone brick parking lot was the roof to a building and um from my knowledge of masonry which is limited i don't have you know super amounts of make sure we save that picture that's a great picture okay um but my knowledge is that you cannot do that that it has to have a weight dispersion got your checkerboard so you got see this the weight dispersion comes down here this is holding the load okay and then it drives it into this pillar which goes to the ground Okay, so you're you're the this whole thing here is not being held up. I don't know how to explain this very well. It's all of this, okay, all of this, this whole roof here is not being held up by what you would think this. It it's being held up by the dis, dispersion of the the weight through this right here okay down the column into the ground down to the bedrock down to the foundation that's how that's held up held up it has to have okay well, i'm trying to say what you if if you came over here right and then just attached it to, let's say, the side of the wall here, okay? And you didn't take that load all the way to the ground, to the foundation. It, it wouldn't hold up. You have to go all the way to the ground. So that's what the, that's what the importance of, of that is, for what it's worth. A little scrubbed cartouche looking thing but see you got the this dispersion right here going straight down to the column the column goes down the column holds the weight not this this transfers the weight to the column this doesn't hold the weight there this could not hold the weight okay if 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 this only went to the, the say the side of the wall okay and it, it couldn't even go to just a, a a regular wall it it has to go to a solid foundation and see this thing this column here is solid as shit and that goes straight down and it drives that load down into the ground i hope that makes sense i don't know if it does
There's your double headed phoenix. Hey, Albert Billy, what's going on? All righty. How many pictures are in this thing? That's kind of cool looking. Did I already look at that one? Oh, I already, oh, okay, I did. I don't know what that is. Some kind of. Okay, so we've looked at that now. Okay, we looked at that. Let me go back to this. The silica. Okay, let's. No, I don't like to use that name. I'm going to put it under the cathedral, of whatever this is. And then we'll. Okay, let me change the file. Oh, no, it's pretty. It's good. Although I'm gonna get rid of the, the that I try to make it a little little better on my mind. Okay, I wanted to let's copy this and then let's go to Library of Congress and just see if they've got anything. You never know. Such a, a important cathedral. What is this? Propaganda. Oh, we gotta look at that. A hundred and eight images in sequence. What do we got here? Huh. So it's possible. That our church is in there somewhere, but it's going to take too long to find it. Let's go back. Let's download the PDF and we'll put that in the file. Matter of fact, um, let me make sure we put that in the file. Oh, it's, oh, it's still downloading. Means a no wait for that. Although, uh, let's take a little peek at just. Let's find a cool picture of the peak yet, just for giggles, see what kind of quality this thing is. That one looks cool to me. Oh, no, 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 look at that one. You can't even see that thing. Oh, there you go. What is that? Designed for a new British Imperial Institute. Yeah, design. All right. Yeah, okay. I believe that. I mean, she turns purple and smells like rainbow sherbet. Okay. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's go. Da, 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 da. Let's kill that and search brick. Why not? See what happens. Just never know our uh, construction that's weird conspiracy okay construction Talking about limestone facade there. Huh. 
How about brick roof? Who laid the first stone to build the oldest cathedral? Okay. Five hundred anniversary. Huh. In 1514, Christopher Columbus's son laid the first stone for this cathedral. Well, there's a red flag. Uh, that's interesting. Run across the horseshit narrative, did we? Uh huh. Okay. That is very Spanish to me. Let's see what they're. What else they got? Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's bullshit right there. Nothing interesting there for me. Has the tomb of the first historian of the Americas been... I'll bite. Discovered. Oh, you son of a bitches. Oh. Die, fascist, die. Your rules and regulations. Hi, Stephen Lynch. How you doing? That looked kind of interesting. I'm looking, I want to know. Where was that? I read that. I want to get back. Who the hell's Christopher Columbus's son? I'll bite on that. Why not? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I didn't copy it. There. Diego Columbus. Eldest son of Christopher Columbus. Let's take a little snapshot of your little ass. Your fancy little hat. Get a good look at you. Oh, you're just a douche. Okay, gotcha. His residence. Oh, well, we got to look at that. A little, just, yeah, it's just a little fella. We're not too interested in no little fellas. We got bigger fish to fry. Navigator. Blah, blah, blah. Made a page at the Spanish court in 1492. Diego taught, was taught by Christopher Columbus, second wife. So there's a lot of information on the dude. Because we know his papa worked for the Templars. Flying the Templar cross across the, the ocean. We know he didn't discover America, and we know he was, you know, following. Uh, he he was on a mission to 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 uh, uh, bring it to the world. I guess I don't know. It, it, like they knew they they already knew it was here. It was just time to open it up, open up, you know, begin the narrative. So they had to send you know some dude over there, which is a controlled narrative, and then bring him over here to. Uh, Why don't we just uh, look for pictures and see what comes up? Well, got to click the button. It's interesting. Is, is that him right there? I don't know. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Okay. Let's. I'm trying to find brick roof. Let's try that. Okay, that's not working. Let's try um How about new roof. Where's the roof of the need is put in there. They're just not going to give it to me. All right. And let's just shoot in the dark. Why not? It's not saying anything. And what was the other question? She, she had another. Qu oh, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, that's nothing. Okay. Um. All right. Hold. What am I doing here? Oh. Wait a minute. Let me stop screens and figure out where I'm at. Because I do not know. Oh, okay. I got it here. All right. Now I got to find that. Sorry, folks. Like I said, train wreck. Choo choo. I killed the page. Access to water. What type of brick was used and did it have access to water? Okay. Access to water. Huh. Let's try well. And da, da, da. not give me nothing. Okay, let me go to let's just see. Let's look at, okay, where is the water compared? Okay, so the water is right here. So this ocean, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let me get back in there. I think I lost it. Is that it? I think that's it, isn't it? I do believe that's it. Yeah, because there's Fred. Okay. Well. I don't see any, like. I do see a uh, Star Fort piece right here. Look right there. Look right there. Let's see if we can get closer to that thing. 
What's that? Let's try it. I'll bite. Oh, hello. Oh my, what am I? What is this? Okay. Whoa. There's that same roof work right there. So they make brick and then kind of stucco over it or something. Check out that old water release channel. And see, we've got a flat, small flat um, roof right here, but this would have to be, um, there would have to be structure underneath that, like a wood structure or something, or some kind of elaborate. I don't think you could just have that sitting there as a wild, wild looking picture. Okay. So this kind of a Star 40 thingy. Let's see if we can find a. Oh my. Okay. What the hell? What in the AG double hockey sticks have we found? What is this thing? That is just super weird right there. Why would you have windows in, in there? Look at that gate. It's mad. That wall is massive. What in the hell? El Bahrain de Lava Fort Ozama. Uh huh. Ozama, huh? Okay. Now, I got a question. Where does the other side of it look like? Let's go here. So now we're up on it. That's odd. So we know we got a big ass wall down here. And then I mean I, I think it really's got I it sure does look like a, you know parts of a star fort to me. got a very star 40 look to it um in some way shape or form let's look better oh we can't look at that corner what the hell they got a wall within a wall look because there's a wall right here what the hell somebody's gonna got give me something and don't let you get close to it Well, that don't make no sense. Give me that name. I'm tired of playing with you. Let's see. Looking for that wall. All I got is this one building. That's aggravating. Facebook wiki. Ooh. And look at extended back this way. Wait a minute. I didn't see that part. Well, 
Wait a minute. Where's that model at? Okay, you got the point. Okay, wait a minute. That's even weirder. The water. There's no road here. And there's that. Okay, there's that. So that is that. And then that is that. But then you follow that wall up. So there should be another one in here. Another like bastion kind of thing. Let's go right here and see what's going on. Okay, that was like trippy. Let's save that just for shits and giggles. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's see, there's the inside of those brick roofs. Okay, so we got we got something there. All right, so that I, I guess the answer is um, about the water. I don't I don't see any evidence of a well or a fountain or anything. Um, they probably dug a well at one point and dug down. So. There's that. I don't know. We don't know what we're going to find. <laughs> That's the whole point of, of what we're doing here is we don't know what the hell we're going to find. We're not going out looking for like very specific things. It's like, what can we find? Where can we, where can we go with this? We don't know. So um, let me take a, a, a break. Um, and uh, we will be back shortly. Let me find a little something, something for you guys to hang out with. Find my breaky videos. And I think y'all might enjoy. We'll play. We'll play this in.
Wake up. <laughs> People hate when I do that. Never tell me what you don't like. Bad idea. Okay, we back. Me and Roscoe got into some cookies. Hey, Roscoe. Hey, Roscoe. Pico train. Okay, ducky. I hope everybody's doing all right. I want to go and see if we had, uh, we had, let's see. Denise the Menace uh, can't believe how much this community has uncovered, discovered, and collaborated into a truth experience together. Yes. It, it is quite amazing what all the researchers are coming um, up with that is not in the history books, that is not being explained or even taking what is being um, shown in the history books and, and showing it in a way that makes more sense, uh, that makes you interested in learning. So I really, um, I think that that's a wonderful thing. I want to see here. Going back, going back, going back. And Miss Ann Pearson was saying, Orphan Annie, I want to go to the Biltmore house and make a video. That would be wonderful. Um, and uh, try to concentrate on the, um, the basement area. I don't think enough work has been done um, taking uh, images of the basement. There's a lot going on in the basement of that building. Um, just so you know. Okay, so let me um, let me present. Got a new building. Nope. Nope. Let's see. Where is my picture? Trying to find my picture to share screen. There it is. Okay. I don't know why I wasn't showing. Okay. Um, I've got one picture here. Um, Hotel Ilkoy. Buff. Uh, I'm, I'm not very good pronouncing that. Iroquois. Buffalo, New York. 1905. Um, and. Uh, this is a, a beautiful structure, and I thought we'd just kind of see what we could find on this structure, just to add stoneball finials up here. Let's see. Got a mud flood drop in there. There's a trap door to the underground. There's pavement light right there and there and there and there. Okay. Now, um, let me stop the screen and let me find. Let's go searching for um, this. Oh, let me clear all this out. Got to clear the screen here so we have something to work with. And we're going to share Googles. And we got Googles and we're going to just search the search, see what we find. That was in 1905. Looks like there might have been a fire. Formerly located between Eagle Street, Main Street, Washington Street, known as the Jaren's Building, at the time of the demolition in 1940. Okay, so that's interesting. So it is a, a building that is gone now. So that's interesting. Now we can look into um, a building that is... Uh, there's the, there it is right there. 
a building that's no longer here. That's really cool. Oh, okay. I don't know where, where am I? Hotel Iroquois. Okay, save that there. There it is there. Fireproof. Well, that's interesting. I always love the fireproof logo. That's, uh, you know, they're selling some horse shit there. That might be the same picture we were just looking at. I think it is. So we already have that. There's a trolley. Niagara. And there's Fred right there. Fred's the horse to build America. See, I told you he'd be part of the show. A little interesting kind of there. Artificial limbs. Invalid chairs. Deformity appliances. Elastic stockings. Supporters crutches. Okay. Niagara Falls leave here every 15 minutes. 1867. Oh, check out those lights. Finial uh, porthole there. Oh, wow, look at the techie bits up here. Porthole there. Okay. What else we got? Okay, that's kind of not helping me. All right, let's go back and let's bite on that. What is that? Original Richmond Hotel. That's interesting. Original Richmond Hotel burned down in 1887. One of the most horrific fires in Buffalo history. It killed 15 employees and guests and severely burned two dozen others. There were heroic rescues of trapped women and children. Nearby taverns and hotels threw open their doors to become makeshift hospitals. Okay. Nevertheless, guests plunged from windows, and a survivor testified that the screams of the victims were something I hope I never hear again. The subsequent investigation, much blame fell upon the Victorian high technology. Oh, is that not a title or is that not a title? Victorian high technology. Very interesting. The new telegraph and telephone companies had erected a dense network of overhead wires and cables that impeded rescuers' access to upper floors of the burning building. The city ordered these wires be put under in underground conduits, and the Richmond was rebuilt, renaming itself the Iroquois Hotel in 1890. Let's take a screenshot of that for our file. Roasted Man, the awful reveal of the fire fiend at the ill-fated Richmond house. Of, okay, what is this? Well, that's weird. What that happened? Oh. Oh, it's just downloading something. Oh, it's just a PDF of something. Uh, okay. New Rich, the New Richmond Hotel, eighteen eighty-seven. Wait a minute. When is eighteen eighty-nine or eighteen ninety? They built the airports. 
and this is when did it burn 1887 okay so this is the original oh uh, now this is actually very interesting y'all very interesting very very interesting uh absolutely fireproof so this had two buildings open for business in 1889 Hmm. Grandest architectural hotel ever constructed in Buffalo. It was like having our own Waldorf Astoria. Prior to its construction, the Richmond Hotel stood on the site. At Main Street, 1887, the hotel burned to the ground, tragically killing 15 employees and guests. Several, blah, 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 blah. We've already read that. 1889 was rebuilt and renamed using fireproof materials. That's interesting. Was it built as the first totally fireproof hotel in existence? That's interesting. Built as the first totally fireproof hotel in existence. Now, that's a claim right there. Due to fire being the culprit of tens of thousands of fires every year all over the country, back then people flocked to the hotel not only for its grandeur, but for its safety. Hotel became so popular, old world architects added three stories to the eight floor eight floor structure in 1900 three stories now wait a minute now okay the oh whoa, okay now that is interesting let me stop screen share and go back to our original picture i think that's a good point added three stories there's your three stories. So the whole, they're saying this whole top here is an addition to this, which was a rebuild of a hotel that burned down. Now here, here, this is what I call an anomaly. This is an anomaly building. This building right here has the classic mud flood signs. You got mud flood drop in stairs going right there. You got pavement light all across the front, possibly a coal hole cover there. Yeah, definitely coal hole covers. Those are definitely coal hole covers. No doubt. There's another one. There's another one. Okay. When you see that many, they're not manhole. Co Usually manhole covers are not in the sidewalk. First off, that is probably a manhole cover. That is a coal hole cover. When you see that, there's another one. There's another one. Those are coal hole covers. When you see that, that means that this sidewalk is an areaway. Okay? 100% guaranteed areaway. An areaway is a vaulted sidewalk. That means it's hollow. Okay? It's hollow underneath that. Okay? That means your ass could fall through at any time, right? There's nothing under there but, but air. Okay? Now, that is in my eyes, a portion of cover up for mud flood. Okay. That means here's my opinion right here. You have a mud flood building. Okay. Now I know this building was sitting there, but was built after a supposed another building, but this is what I'm saying. This is what I call an anomaly. Okay. I believe that they changed something in 1943. And it, there, there are situations more than you would believe where these buildings, there's two on the same location. Now, let's get back to where we were. Okay. So in 1900, they added that. Uh this just in time for the rush of hundreds of thousands of tourists to the Pan American Exhibition the following year in 1901. 
So we have a connection to a World's Fair. Red flag. Ding, 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 ding. Anyone seeing red flags here? Okay. Uh, Startler. Statler. The Statler Hotel purchased the Iroquois Hotel due to it being the main competition for a new hotel being constructed in Niagara Square the day the new Statler Hotel opened. He closed the Iroquois for good. It was demolished in 1940. Huh. And when was this? It doesn't, it doesn't tell when he bought it. So this hotel, oh, okay, we got an obelisk. <laughs> okay. Got an obelisk. Okay, all righty. Very interesting. Okay, red flags are just flying for me. In 1965, the entire block in which Bond's located was demolished to make way for the construction of 1MT Plaza. The building from, uh, from its granite substructure, granite substructure to the roof of fireproof tiles is unsurpassed for solo to the strength of construction. The site of the building is most central, and the structure covers an area of 20,000 square feet, having a frontage of 200 feet on Eagle Street, 100 feet on Main and Washington Streets, respectively. It consists of eight floors and a basement. Ding, ding, ding. The roof rising to a height of 112 feet above the level of the street, the elevation in the style of the French Renaissance, and the metonymy of a long facade is relieved by central two smaller projections over each side of the entrance. The two lower stories have been treated in quarry facade. Okay, Medina Brownstone. Okay, I'll bite. Ah, you son of bitches. All right. And superstructure is sur uh, surmounted by a cornice of terracotta in handsome designs. The main entrance is by way of a handsomely designed portico, the roof in which arranged as a balcony with lofty standard electro gasoliners. Gasol gasol what the hell is that? Okay, hold on. I got a bite on that. Sorry, folks, I don't know what that is. So it's a light. A light fixture name for its original light source. So it's a type of light fixture. Okay. Okay. I'll... I'll Learn something new there. I've never heard that before. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Mounted upon the brownstone pedals at the corners of the balcony, all the latest devices known to the building art have been used to make this building absolutely. The cast iron girders and columns and other ironwork are thoroughly encased in fireproof materials hollow porous clay tile being used for this purpose as well as for the walls, partitions, and floor arches. The lobby, which has a flooring of in classic tiles, the walls wainscoted in quartered oak. The recessed ceiling divided in course of huge structural beams is elaborately decorated in oil colors, massive brown columns encircling which are polished Bands of brass holding brackets for gas and electric lights lend support to the ceiling. The office facing the entrance is elegantly furnished and appointed desk and other fixtures being constructed of finely grained quartered white oak in most tasteful designs. The reading and writing rooms, barbershop, elevator, main street corridor use the ladies' entrance. You oh, used as the ladies' entrance, the artistically decorated and furnished ladies' waiting room. And the main stairway adjoining the office as is also the hallway leading to the leading to the 
wait, hallway leading. Oh, he mentioned they have it doubled to the lavatories and closets. The newsstand carriage desk. Huh, carriage desk. Uh, ticket, telephone, telegraph offices are conveniently located. Kentucky uh, final curtain. Uh, Stats, uh, Statler realized that his planned elegant hotel could not succeed with Buffalo's elite so long as the class preferred to frequent the venerable Iroquois Hotel at Main and Eagle Street. He attempted to hire away the Iroquois popular hotel manager, Elmore Green, but the latter remained loyal to his hotel. So for the first last time, Sterling Startler eliminated the competition by buying the Iroquois Hotel for a bunch of fucking money. Jesus. And closing it the day the, day the new 1923. Okay, that's the date. 1923. So that is also pre-43. So we're within my time frame still. Had no difficulty in hiring Mr. Green to manage his new hotel. The elite followed the Start the hotel would become the place of Buffalo to be seen to meet to make deals and have lunch in the terrace room overlooking Niagara Square for the first 50 years. Piano Rose Iroquois Hotel was famous in 1908 as the site of the Buffalo Convention that established the standards for 88 note piano rolls. Huh. The convention attended by representatives of the roll making industry. And by player piano manufacturers was held December 10th, 1908 in the Buffalo at the Iroquois Hotel. It was there that after the long day, long debate, the nine holes to the inch hole spacing one over to eight holes to inch by 12 to six vote, which was later made unanimous. Page 31 of the December 1908 musical trade view. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Okay. Well, that is interesting. But what I want to know, oh, I want to know. I want to see that. And we're in Buffalo. Show me that. Misa want to see that, please. I want to see high res of that, please. Thank you. Let me look at that one. What else we got? Yeah, come on, come on. What we got? Ooh, what we got? Yeah, I want to look at that. What do you got? Is this it? Is that the one? Let's see. Make a note. Not sure. We'll take a look at it, though. Okay, let me look at that close. The Richmond building. Yep, that's it. Okay, what else we got? Give it to me, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. I need that clip. Let's see. Uh, what's this one? Ooh. Now that I think. Let me double check our original. Okay, I think. Yes, that's the Iroquois without the new top. Now, just so you know, we'll get all excited. That would be easy to Photoshop right there. Very easy. Simple. Um, just, you know, just throwing that out there. But let's see. I'm just not finding what I want, really. What I'm looking for is, um, here's something. What is this? No, uh, no, that's a different hotel. I'm looking for a, um, A, a comparison shot of what that old hotel looked like. 
that's the one they the guy wanted to make the fancy hotel uh, da, 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 de, da, da. okay so let's go here we got arches this is the richmond hotel so this hotel was in the spot that the iroquois was at and what i'm doing is i'm looking for and it's going to be hard to tell is that the same building I uh, don't think it is. That's not the same building, is it? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's not the same building. What was that labeled? Where are you? Buffalo Great Fire. History Richmond. I don't get it. Give me that. Ooh. Yeah, boy. What we got here? Wait a minute, what are they calling this? This Richmond Hotel engraving. So this is an engraving. And this is, they're saying that this is Richmond building. Hold on a second. That's the Iroquois, right? Maybe. Okay, they're saying that's the Richmond Hotel. What I'm looking for is an actual picture of the Richmond Hotel. That's what I'm looking for. In case anybody's wondering, what the hell is this dude doing? You crazy nut. Uh, okay, this is... I'm going to save this and get it out of my way. Oh, where am I? Oh, I am... Yeah. And then... I don't know about this. Let me. What's the provenance of that sucker? Where are you, little picture? Uh, da, 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 is that. Show me your credentials, sir. The Richmond building I think that's a different building that's not the same building that one's cool though look at how it's mud flooded right there that's really Richmond was later, later in Young Men's. Okay, no. I think this is a. I think there must have been a Richmond building and a Richmond hotel. Well, maybe not. What the hell's going on here? I don't know. Maybe this is just talking about the Great Fire. What was that? Mm. No, nope. wasn't there like a name for the building or something? Original, uh, uh huh. Original Richmond Hotel, New Richmond Hotel. Okay, the original burned in 1887. The new one was built. Uh, 
Okay, okay. The old, the original Richmond Hotel is the one that burned. The new Richmond Hotel is the Hotel Iroquois without the, the crown. Gotcha. Okay. Got head out of ass. See, train wreck. Avoid. That. Okay, got it. Now, let me look. Let me check that again. Let me do this uno more times. Well, you can go, you better start paying attention. Thank you. Okay. Original, original hotel. And then what was this? No, no, no. No, where the hell is that? No. Yes, this is what I wanted to look at. So that's the new Richmond Hotel that they're talking about. And then you got... Here's here's my problem with this. Okay, I'm I'm having trouble finding a picture of what they're calling this original Richmond Hotel. Now, the first thing when I have an anomaly building is I want to see a a, 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 a photograph of that picture of of that building. Let me, let's go to, uh, let's go to the Library of Congress and just see if there's any kind of um, picture. Hotel Richmond, no, 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 no. You see, you see why people don't do this for a living, y'all. See, I done screwed up. That's what I want. This stuff's not easy, y'all. But I'm hoping by doing this that a lot of you will learn new tricks as to how to. Uh, do okay, so didn't find it like that let's let's remove the word origin original and then see if it comes up city news old arcade okay let's let's bite that i don't know It's not coming up. Okay. Well, while we're dicking around in the Congress, let's uh, let's just um, see what they have on the Hotel Iroquois. Okay, we got some got some pictures. Let's give me that. Give me that. Give me that. What is this? Iroquois Hotel. That's a different one. And that's a different one. Okay, so that's all that we got. So we don't need that no more. Let me check my original. My original has the little sign in the bottom. This one does not have a sign. So let's go ahead and down as a tiff. No. Yeah. That should give me the highest resolution. 
Okay, and then I will check this one, and it well, we'll just go ahead and download that, even though it, I'm not sure if it's the right one. And I think that's the one that I have. Yes. So we don't need that one. Okay, so we got that. I don't think that's the Hotel Richmond. I think that's possibly the Hotel Richmond. What is this? I forget what this is. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, get rid of that. I ain't interested in that. That's the... We know that's the new Hotel Richmond. This is that picture here, which we can get a better detail. I wonder if we can... Can we download that? I doubt it. Click to enlarge. Save image. And then we'll save image. And then... So this is the original. This is an etching. Oh, shit. Well, get rid of that. You know, this is interesting. I, look at the, const you know, the narrative says that this building was made of, you know, non-fireproof materials, you know, because it burned to the ground. It, I mean, does that look like wood? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm finding, finding that not, that, that dog's not hunting too good. Okay, let me go back. Okay, that's the same. Let's save that just to be sure the great fire okay now what i want to do is i want to look at these two and compare that looks like exactly the same thing one is an etching one is a photograph and they're saying that this is the original hotel. So this must be oh, wait a minute. Let me write let me uh I don't want I think that's no no good. Where's my thing? Here it is. Okay. I want to label this one as Original Richmond Hotel. So this is what we're looking. This is the best we can find of this hotel. Let me double check. I think I already did this, but let's, I think we already did this. We did. So that's useless. Okay. So. I don't know. I think it, it's an, an anomaly where you have a, you've got arch windows. I can't get any more details on it. I mean, I'm not even, even a zoom in isn't going to do anything on that. Um, could that be photoshopped? Hmm. Uh, yeah. I, I could photoshop that. Um, I would, if I was going to do it, I would probably cut it out here. 
um, or even uh, you could even cut out on the top of the the heads here. But that's not what I think we're seeing. I I, I think we're seeing an anomaly where 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 they changed um, they changed it. That's the best I can tell. What what all's in here? What is this? We never did get into this. This is kind of interesting. What is this stuff? Uh, I don't know. Revolting cocks. Huh. <laughs> That's nice. It's very strange. Okay. I don't know what that is. And what is this one? We'll just down, we'll just save that just for um for giggles, I guess. I think it did have something there, but so it's not still there. We can't do a Google drop. We've checked the Library of Congress. It seems to be an anomaly, which is important. Okay. I think that's enough of that one. Let's see. Oh, I still got the comment up there. So sorry. Oh, so sorry, Super Dave. What are you making noises for? Hmm? I don't know. Sorry. Okay. How you doing? Hello, Kim Ray. Let's see who's all hanging out with still. Okay. All righty. Let's see. Where are we now? See what else I had in my pool. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, this one's this one's kind of cool. Um, let me show you this picture. P -p -p picture. Um, the lead I have on this. This is called the Manhattan Storage Warehouse Company, 7th Avenue and 52nd Street, New York City. And this is in 1914. And what struck me is this, as I was watching uh, the show, uh, the um, Tesla Files. And um, we all know the story of uh, how Tesla... Um, when he died that they came in and they took all his uh, trunks of his uh, notes and his drawings and his, you know, his, uh, all his work. And um, at the, in this show, they made the mention, they said, and they showed a, a picture. I don't know if it was this picture, but they showed a picture of, of this building and they said, and all his trunks were taken to the Manhattan Storage and Warehouse Company in New York City and uh, put in storage. And I'm looking at the building. And I'm like, that's a crazy ass looking building. So hence, uh, I thought we'd take a look at it. Well, I mean, why not? Look at this thing. I mean, it's got, you know, something going on down here. Mud flood winders. Some sort of drop in there. It's hard to see exactly what's going on. Mud flood winders. There's coal hole covers. Got an outcropping door. Big arches. Look at these, these iron bars on the arches. I mean, that's wild looking. 
I don't think I've ever seen that before. Got these little tiny arched windows. And they got this shitty little sign on the side. I thought that was funny. And check out this little turret. <laughs> I mean, just this is a storage facility. I mean, just so weird. I, I I just I thought it was really cool, and it's got the three arch thing: the big arch, the two arches, and the circle in the middle. Very strange dog toothing. It's probably an old wind catcher. This is probably an entrance and an exit to a wind catcher. Check that out. I just thought it was just really like cool. I mean, the, you know to. They got a third rail uh, conduit there. It reminded me of Jared Boosters because um, he's the one that taught me about third rail conduit. Um, he sent me a nice comment yesterday um, or a couple comments. Um, and that's, he, that's such a nice kid. I don't know how he is. I call him a kid. I know he's younger than I am. So I call you, if you're younger than I am, I'll call you a kid, but I, I, you know, he's, he's good. He's a good chap. Good people. I don't know him. He, he, uh, he's, uh, um, it, smart and rightly so to, you know, just, be completely disconnected from uh, the community, but uh, which is, you know, where I'm going to go now, but, you know, it's just, uh, he did that from the start, which um, I didn't want to be that way. Uh, I, I felt like that was, I felt like I could do better, you know, working with the community, but um, that turned out to be bullshit. So, you know, props to Jared for, you know, staying, you know, the way he's done his, you know, stuff since day one and, and sticking with it and, and not, not getting in. Uh... The problem is when you, when you, when you extend your hand to other people in the community, one of two things is going to happen. One, they're going to turn out to, to be it's going to be turn out to be a good idea. The other is, it's going to turn out to be a bad idea and either one can happen. It's like, I see Frankie there. Frankie turned out good. Um, Billy Philly turned out good. You know, I had, I've had really good connections, but I've also had really bad connections. So, and, and the problem is that the bad connections make you not want to do the good connections because you don't know who the hell is going to be a fucking jackass. You have no idea until you do it. So anyways, shout out to Jared Boosters. Um, I don't want to, I would love to talk about what we talked about, but uh, I don't, I don't think he, I don't think what that was the point of him reaching out to talk um but he had a very good point and i totally agreed with him um it's very interesting he's a, he, a smart kid anyways um let me get let me get moved on here okay so let's see what we can find on this building because you know we are collecting for the beagle files we, we, do, we do have a purpose to this show so let's, I don't know, start somewhere. Let me uh, present the screen, which is where we want to see. And let's just search and see what we can find. Museum of the City in New York. There it is. Let's see what that gives us. Anything, anything. Okay. Okay, we got a bunch of pictures here. So, what is this?
Okay, so I did not. Can you download these? Oh, I put it in the wrong one. Okay. I can't put it in the wrong one. I don't think you can, um, okay, you know, it's not, get, what is this? Is that the same thing? They must have redone it at some point. Oh, wow, is that? That's weird. Is that, um, is that a different, that's a different one, isn't it? Wow, that's wild. Okay. I think where I got that picture. Oh, what is this? Some kind of hotel. Okay, we uh is that it? No, that's not it. That's cool though. Okay, uh that's cool, but you can't go you can't look at the pictures very good. I don't like that. Let's see if that'll open. I don't understand why do they have a website where you can't look at the pictures bigger. I mean, who the hell can see that? I mean, you got to have a damn magnifying glass, and you're still not gonna see shit. What we got on eBay? eBay wants to sell us something. That's the same picture, I think. New York Public Library. You'll give me picture. You'll give it to me now. Ooh, what do we got? Anything? Anything? Anyone? Anyone? Where's my picture at? Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if we can... I'm not going to give me anything but that. Is there any additional? Ooh. And... Now open. Actually, it will also have carpets refitted and laid in houses and apartments. The company owns a large number of furniture and trucking vans built expressly for its business. It uses own horses, drivers, and helpers to remove with con contents of dwelling houses and other property. That's so weird. I don't know why is it so big. I mean, what are they going to do? Carry everything up flights and flights of stairs just to get to. Did y'all see that? Y'all might not even have saw that, did you? I don't think you saw that. Uh, I don't know. I'm watching the feed to see if y'all. I don't know if y'all got that or not. I don't think you saw that. Let me. I got to find the picture. Bear with me. Here I found it. I told you we're going to be a train wreck. That's okay. Sucks with string yards. You gotta switch between each damn screen. Anyways, there's the picture. That's the one I was just looking at. So, not that it was all you know super 
wonderful or anything, but okay. And back to our share here. 1892. Okay. Now, what I'm looking for is, um, I'm, I'm looking for like data right now that like for, that is weird that, that they, people seem to like that building. Got that one. No, we don't have that one. Oh, let's see that. Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. What are these little boxes are right here? It's kind of weird. Look at these arches that are closed off. Strange. Daytonian in Manhattan. Huh, okay. It's not what we're looking for. Okay. Let's see if we can find... Let me remove that. See if that changes it. Probably not. Okay, how about that? That did something. Thing is crazy looking. It's like a castle. Why? You know, there's other pictures of this thing, but it's not letting me. There's some kind of ticket for it. You will give me picture. You will give it to me now. Thank you. Okay. There's a ticket from it. That's a cool building. Okay, this isn't helping me. Okay, I want to know. Go to all and then built. When was it built is what I want to know. Amazon. Huh. Sheraton. Okay, let's bite on that for a second. Okay, so that's why that keeps coming up. Sheraton New York Times Square Hotel. The Sheraton New York Times Square Hotel located near Times Square in Manhattan. Well, okay, now site. Right my neighborhood, New York City, building right here. Let's see. Come on, give it to me. Okay, I'm just reading through this. I'm looking for... Ah, site had previously been occupied the Manhattan Storage Warehouse Company built in 1892. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. 1892. These things are important. And they're not going to tell me anything else there that we give a shit about. We don't care about that building. We care about that other building. 
We wanted the history of that building. Let's see. Roughly. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back to that. When was this built? Oh, okay. The warehouse design in Italian style had been demolished in 1957. Wow. So it was there up until 1957. Man, it's... It's surprising that something that lasted till 1957 could not have more pictures. A building that fucking cool. That's very strange to me. And who is this? This is the architect. Let's re, let's see what the horseshit narrative is on this one. 18 uh, James Edward Ware, 1846 to 1918, American architect, best known for devising the dumbbell plan for new york city tenement housing he was born in new york city 1846 and studied the city college of new york he began his practice in 1869 his sons franklin and arthur were also architects and in 1900 formed the firm james e ware and his sons his son frank franklin b ware 1873 1945 served as new york state architect from 1907 to 1912 where it was early designer of fireproof warehouses. Fire, that's interesting. Early designer of fireproof warehouses. Now, that stands out to me as being a freaking horseshit narrative sentence right there. Who, I mean, what, what kind of like, you're, you're this architect and you're like, one of your claims to fame is that you're an early designer of fireproof warehouses. Like, how is that? Like, why would that be on your freaking resume? Why would that be important? To me, that's that that sounds very horseshit narrative. That that really stands out to me. That sentence right there. He also achieved distinction as a designer of multiple dwellings. He is best known for devising the dumbbell plan, a tenant, tenement design for which he received recognition in 1878. He designed the Osborne Apartments. I'll bite. Ooh. Oh, my. Ooh, my. Uh, is what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. See, I would be, you know, more interested in claiming my fame, you know, to that more style building. Oh, man. Hello. I got to save that just for... Uh, that's nice. Okay. Got a subway drop in there. What else you got? Okay. 1885. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. That's how you scratch a beagle's ear right there. Yeah. Ventilation for the subway. Subway drop in right there. So you know there's hollowness under this sucker. I think I got that, didn't I? Yep. Okay. And what else you got? Give it to me, baby. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I need that clip. Okay. Is that... What is that? It's interesting right there. That's interesting. Oh, no. Oh. 
there's those uh um you know i've talked about the scaffolding in new york now this is a scaffolding that's what this is even though it's nice that well, this will be technically an awning but you see there's a scaffolding over here that means that they're having a problem with the facade falling off this building that is a uh, very good sign the building is old world when you see the facade falling off the building it means we don't know how to fix it or it's too hard to fix or we don't have enough skilled um masons or whatever to fix that so red flag okay so i got i we gotta save that um okay wait a minute. okay all right we won't go down a rabbit hole there okay so where were we okay okay in the, uh as well as the mon honk what mon honk mountain house what the fuck what the fuck is this shit an american resort hotel located in uh south of catskill mountains on the crest of the shawl and grunk ridge what the hell the property lies at the junction of towns of what okay eight from 1883 to 1916 okay the main structure was built by quaker twin brothers albert and alfred smiley between 1869 and 1910. Man, that looks... God, that looks... Oh, wow, that looks... I don't know why. That looks just like... I can't remember the show. Oh, man, what's the name of that show? There's a show on... Um, Amazon Prime, and it it, it stars. Uh, I don't know the girl's name, but she's she's a uh, uh, Prince, uh, the musician Prince. It's her. It, it it's his ex girlfriend. The girl that stars in the show is his ex girlfriend. She also stars on the show Chicago Fire. She's an excellent musician, excellent actress. But that in that show, there's a scene, or there's a there's she's like the I don't know, she does something with this like virtual reality uh I think uh I'm trying going off memory. Uh and there's like a virtual reality resort or something. I swear that looks just like that show. Oh, that's that thing is crazy. Look at that. That is that's wild looking. Look at that. That's that's really cool looking. Man, I but man, I have to look into that. That I swear that's that place. I didn't I didn't know I thought it was something they made up. Maybe they maybe they filmed it here. Jeez. That's got some stuff going on in it right there. Okay. Let's 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 get a copy of that and Okay. All right. We don't want to go there too far. Um he also designed a number of ah, private residences in New Jersey and New York City and the interior of the Madison Avenue Presbyterian Church in 1891. Among the finest extant buildings is the row of Romanesque Revival Houses at Madison Avenue on the corner of 92nd Street in New York City. Okay. Graveside, he received a partial payment 
for designing the administration building and receiving vault. Okay. Where is buried in the Maple Grove Cemetery in a granite a grave site he received in partial payment for designing the administration building and receiving a vault. Oh gosh, that sounds like horseshit narrative right there. While practicing with his son, they designed the city suburban homes company first avenue estate. Okay. National Okay, now we got to look that up. Wait a minute. I don't know. Uh, see if that brings anything up. Probably not. Jeez. It's a big, gigantic tenement building with mud flood windows. Seriously? Let's look at that one. Mud flood. Let's just design it with mud flood windows because that makes sense. Very interesting. It's a weird picture. You got all that built up, but you can't pave the road. Somehow I'm not believing you. Just not believing you. What if that's the same thing? Say First Avenue Estate. What was it called? First Avenue Estate. First they defaced our landmarks. Now they want to tear them down. See if that is it still around? Where was it? Else is not no, it doesn't tell. Shoot. First day. Is that it right there? First Avenue State's history. Sorry, folks. We're just going down all kinds of rabbit holes. 2010. Saved. I wonder if that's it. I wonder right there, is that it? Huh. Don't know. Doesn't have a I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Maybe that was it. 
Okay. All right. So, street photos very built in New York City in 1939 and 40. Let me check that out, see what that is, just for... I don't know if this is the one I've seen. I don't know if you guys are aware, but um, uh, New York City has a, a a very amazing website. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a they they're documenting um, the city, and it, it's I don't know if this is it or not, but it's amazing how much documentation they have how many pictures and maps and I mean, you can really get lost. I actually at one time uh, thought about doing just a show of, of looking at that, at that. And the problem is that it's too big. It's just too big. Outtakes eighties. I wonder what is that? Oh, there's a pic. You click a dot and it gives you a picture. You can change the. I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is the uh, site that I saw or not. This is cool though. Very cool. Very, very cool. This reminds me of that site, but I don't know if it actually is that site. Very cool. Look at that. Oh, would you? Okay. Will you chip in web hosting costs? No, I won't. Go fuck yourself. What the fuck? Get out of there. Fund yourself. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, all right. Okay, well, I've got to I've got to save this. This is just this good shit, man. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that's gonna Wait, what am I looking up here? Oh, that's that for... Ooh. Mm. Can I... Can I have it, please? Please, can I have it for my collection? Um... Huh. You are not going to let me do it, are you? You son of a bitch. Take that. Man, look at that. Ah! Man, that thing drunk. Okay, I see how it works now. See, that looks... Those those pieces on the outside look like to me like they were added. That those pieces right there don't look original to me. Just an opinion. Oh my gosh, we got popcorn bricks. No. No, no, no. Okay, guys and gals and ladies and gentlemen, I think I've had enough for tonight. Um, I got to get some rest and get ready to go back to work tomorrow. I've uh, I'm maybe by the end of the week I'll be done with my third chicken coop, 
and then I've got to go and work on um, some other projects for a while. I don't know how long it's going to take me. It's kind of complicated. And then I'll get back on my fourth chicken coop, and that one's going to be difficult um, because it's going from being five foot tall to being eight foot tall because it's different because it's for uh, peacocks. And so it's got to be a whole different structure. So I got to make this transition. It's going to be, it's going to make it more difficult. And the boss is already talking about now going, we've already gone 100 feet one way. Now he's talking about going the other way, but I don't know if that's what he's going to do. But he, he has, he is hinting at that. And uh, when the boss man starts hinting at things like that, you know that the boss man is probably going that direction. <laughs> So that's where I'm at. But uh, it, um, I think that was a good start. Uh, I know we can do better. Um, but I, I think that's kind of sort of where we're going with the show. Um, I want to get better at it. Um, and um, if you guys would like to leave in the comments of this show, places that you would like to look at we will get to them as as soon as we possibly can um it takes a while as you can see uh but that's the idea of the show is to find more information um and go deeper and collect the data and see what else we can find and see what kind of rabbit holes we can find and what else is connected to different things. So I think that's uh, a pretty good uh, first try. <laughs> but I appreciate all of you for hanging out for the, for the uh, debut episode of uh, the Beagle Files Live. Um, and I, I hope all of you um, enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you next time. And um, I really appreciate everyone's support. Thank you very much. Love, Biggs. again say wolf again i've got one that can see it's, it's a mystery it's a mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma don't you get it welcome to the underground This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later!